You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Man, government, we don't, we don't care about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a fraud. It, it just doesn't matter. It's the fifth question <laughs> on tax return. tax return. It's insane. It's yeah. the fifth question. It's not just, you know, when moon kind of Lambo. No, this, this bull market that's just getting started, like we haven't even gotten to crypto fall. That doesn't happen till June. Mark Yusko, the founder and CEO of Morgan Creek Capital Management and a passionate investor and educator in the crypto space. In this video, Yusko will share his insights on how did he explain Bitcoin's four-year cycle with having events? How did he describe various market participants influencing Bitcoin's price? How did he predict events like the Lunar New Year, tax season, and Genesis unlocking affecting Bitcoin's price? How did he reference Tim Peterson's research showing a 100% return over 52 weeks and its importance for Bitcoin's future? Don't miss this exciting and informative interview with Yusko. I, I, I think we are exactly on schedule. And, and I've actually been talking about this for a while. I mean, you and I talked about this nine months ago, nine or 10 months ago, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But, and I've talked about it every Friday on, on, my, uh, on the Margin Show for over a year that the four-year cycle exists because of the having, right? Having embeds this natural proclivity for price to rise. Otherwise, the miners who are integral to the success of the, the protocol would find themselves in, in a pinch because their electricity costs and, and space costs are fixed. So long story short, you have this cycle and the cycle is exacerbated by humans, like the people watching the show. And you know there are investors, people who buy assets when they're below their fair value. There are traders who don't give a shit about fair value. They just like to trade movement. There are speculators, which are the other side of hedgers. Hedgers are people who like produce things and have to sell, like, like the miners or oil producers. But then there are the gamblers. And the gamblers are the people who don't understand or really care. They just want number go up. And then they buy on leverage. And that's what pushes us to the crazy parabolic blow off top. And Not then you're yet on the other side. Wait a minute, everyone. Welcome to Bitcoin Zella, your platform for daily cryptocurrency analysis and news. Our mission is to keep it simple. Bitcoin Zella offers engaging information that is easy to understand. Our analysts keep their eyes on the latest news to provide valuable insights via email. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join our community of 10,000 subscribers and experience the new edge with Bitcoin Zella. Subscribe now. The next Bitcoin halving is expected to occur in April 2024, and some analysts predict that it could lead to new all-time highs for the cryptocurrency. The halving could provide investors with some indication of future price trends, as historical data shows that Bitcoin prices tend to surge following halving events due to the supply shock. However, there is no guarantee that the upcoming halving will follow the same pattern as previous cycles. It's not just, you know, when moon kind of Lambo. No, this... This bull market that's just getting started, like we haven't even gotten to crypto fall. That doesn't happen till June. The halving is still yet to come. And we have one more, let's call it um, SpaceX-like explosion that, that was planned, bef right? You know, after the Ides of March, before tax season this year, there's one more selling wave that's coming. People are going to go, oh my God, it's over. No, 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 After that, and once the halving occurs, you know, are this you, is interesting. Are you talking about Genesis? Just for clarity, are you talking about the, the Genesis? No, 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 no. Because no. to me, that's a nothing burger, by the way. That's, that's a nothing burger. No, no. Every year, there are two um, something burgers, and they are bigger three out of the four years. In fact, they, they don't really happen in the, in the fourth year because the bad year... There are no gains to worry about. But what happens, the Lunar New Year, every year, we, you know, we just had it, um, before Lunar New Year, there's a bunch of selling in China to fill up the red envelopes with cash. And it has happened every year since Bitcoin was started. And everybody's like, why is there selling pressure? Like, do, do you not understand a billion six people filling up red envelopes with cash? They, they, they sell some Bitcoin. 
So that's that's one. And so we we survived that. That was no problem. And that actually coincided with the GBTC liquidations and all that good stuff. But then you have Uncle Sam has to get paid. The Lunar New Year, which began on February 1, 2024, has historically impacted Bitcoin's price, leading to a drop in the leading cryptocurrency. This is due to the cashing out of the merrymakers for the holidays, as well as the closure of most over-the-counter OTC services in China, which creates high volatility in the crypto market. However, some experts suggest that the Lunar New Year effect may be diminishing, as Bitcoin becomes more global and less dependent on China. And you know what's amazing? It's amazing. I mean, government, we don't, we don't care about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a fraud. It, it just doesn't matter. It's the fifth question on <laughs> tax returns. It's insane. It's yeah. the fifth question. So even though they don't care about it. But so, and look, after a really good year, and last year was a really good year, up 130%, 155%, sorry, 155%. So there's going to be some taxes due. And people are going to sell to pay taxes. And that happens every three out of the four years because you get three good years and a bad year, three good years and a bad year, three good years and a bad year. And Tim Peterson, who who I love, I love Tim, just put out this morning this cool thing that we just yesterday, over the 52 weeks, up exactly 100%. And that has happened, I can't remember exactly how many times he said, but in every incidence, the next 12 months, we're up 100%. So that's interesting. Bitcoin taxes are a complex and evolving topic, as the IRS treats Bitcoin as an asset similar to property and requires taxpayers to report their transactions for tax purposes. Bitcoin is taxable if you sell it for a profit, use it to pay for a service, or earn it as income. The article also provides some tips and resources for calculating and reporting Bitcoin taxes. And do not forget to subscribe to Bitcoin Zella. The most important news will reach your inbox on a daily basis and for free. Not know why you haven't subscribed yet. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you on your financial journey. Until next time, happy investing.